Mexico, we have no idea. It's fucking crazy. We play in Russian songs, we have no idea what the fuck is going on with your music. So I want to thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the music. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I am Tim, or some people know me Russian Tim. I am originally from Russia. I was born in Novosibirsk, that's in Siberia. And I moved to, to Vancouver in 2006, and I've been enjoying uh, local music uh, since then and supporting the scene. Exactly, when I arrived to Vancouver, I was blown away by the massive size of the local scene uh, because coming from Siberia we obviously had some punk rock, some metal but uh, the extent I uh, f f found out here in uh, Vancouver uh, it was a little bit overwhelming there were so many there was like you said metal scene a hardcore scene pop punk ska punk a whole bunch of different genres uh, it was all there and it was very very accessible ten dollars to get in and to watch the show it was great uh, so that's I got there and I started discovering local shows right away and um, honestly I was blown away by by the size of the scene and the, by the diversity because again like I never lived in um, London, UK, sorry London, uh, New York, Los Angeles maybe Vancouver scene is not even compatible I have no idea but uh, arriving from Russia from Siberia and, and discovering the Vancouver scene uh, for me that was a massive step up uh, just in terms of quality and number of bands and diversity of genres so yeah I was blown away and maybe that's why I'm so supportive about and really into local scene because to me that was something new something fresh and it was really in your own backyard when you can really check out some great uh, bands That's the third edition. Uh, first time it was at the Media Club two nights. Last year it was at Astoria uh, only uh, three nights. Oh, sorry, three nights. And this time it's at the Wise Hall four nights. So maybe in ten years we will have twenty days at Rogers Arena. I don't know, but uh, that's that's how it's been going so far. Uh, if you t use the actual, uh, you know, proper, you know, how the big companies they have mission statement and value statement. Actually, the festival does have somewhat uh, a mission statement. The idea and the whole goal of the festival is the celebration of local scene and also the development of local scene uh, and supporting the scene because I think that um, we have great bands and uh, that I want some people to um, showcase those bands because uh, those bands really in your own backyard and you could go for 15 for 10 dollars and go see them pretty much every week and have a great time enjoying you know watching some local bands play music and at the same time it's also the development I've seen so many times over the years and band meet at the Rocket from Russia festival and sometimes I even on purpose bring them together and I say listen you this band and this band I put them in front of each other say you need to be friends because I know both for example know both bands and I know their musical you know uh, the musical inspiration and what they what they you know what they come from and I think okay you should do you you should uh, play music together and I see how that happens People meet at the Rocket from Russia Fest playing together, just hanging out, and then you see they touring together, they putting out uh, split records, or they just uh, playing shows together. So that's that's another. Uh, so to summarize, to celebrate and to develop local scene. Why so? You know, it's uh, we played last year. My band played a show with Kamikaze Girls from UK at the Vice Hall, and we were just invited to open the show. And when we got to the show, everyone in the band, including me, said this would be a great place for the festival. Uh, on average, the festival draws uh, per night somewhere between 200, maybe 150 to 350 people, somewhere around two, two, 300. And this is a this is the capacity of the Vice Hall. So if the, how many people usually come to the festival, if they come in, the venue will be full. So it's not small, it, it has the stage, it has good sound, and uh, at the same time, it is uh, financially fairly affordable in terms of like, in terms of like putting on the festival so I think I just check out um, all the boxes currently for the, for the stage where festival is right now um, I think this is probably one of the best venues uh, which uh, like I said currently fits the festival and uh, it was available so that's another thing <laughs> 
so the, be the, the best place to find is Facebook. This is the most active place. So you can just uh, look for Rocket from Russia Fest 2019. Uh, this is a four day celebration of local music and there will be 25 bands all from Vancouver playing the festival. Over four days, uh, the, you can buy a wristband, uh, which costs you $50 and gives you access to uh, every single night. So pretty much, I don't know, 10, a little bit over $10 per night to see six, seven bands, which I think is a good price. Or you can buy individual tickets. Uh, those online pre-sales available from the website called showpass.com. And uh, at the door, you can buy obviously the tickets, but they will be $5 more expensive than online. So if you want to save money, go to show pass. And actually there's a link on Facebook page uh, to buy uh, tickets to the Rocket from Asha Festival 2019. Come, it's gonna be great, I promise. I've seen all those bands uh, live. They're all great, great musicians. And like I said, I 100% guarantee you, the only person who won't discover any new good music at the festival, it will be me because I know all those bands and I'm kind of biased. And I, if, if I didn't know the bands, I would be a very bad organizer. But I bet you, if you come and see one of the days, you'll see seven different bands play. I mix it up. It's very diverse, uh, diverse kind of um, genres in, in one day. I guarantee you, you discover one good band and you'll walk away and they'll say, oh, this is a cool band, like I want to discover them. You'll Google them, you'll listen to their music, you'll buy their shirt and maybe next time you go to see them play when they play in a different show. I can guarantee you. So you should come because it's gonna be great. If you're in Vancouver, this is what we have, this is what we celebrate. We have a, such an amazing scene. Come, support the scene and just let's do it. It's gonna be great.